Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm Ella. Welcome to Energy for Change. Today, we'll be talking about heat pumps and why there's been a recent surge in demand for this low carbon technology in homes across Britain. According to the Energy Saving Trust, around 22% of the UK's carbon emissions comes from our homes. And the biggest source of a household's carbon emissions, about a third in total, is from heating. In fact, your home heating has a bigger impact on the climate than either your car, your flights, electricity, diet or waste. It's shocking, isn't it? Or perhaps it's not surprising after all. In the UK, 85% of homes are heated by natural gas and a further 4% are heated by oil. But we cannot reduce our household carbon emissions sufficiently if we continue to use natural gas or oil to heat our homes. The government has set a target that by 2035 all new heating systems either use low carbon technology such as a heat pump or are low carbon ready. And change is coming even sooner than that, with fossil fuel boilers banned in new homes from 2025 and maybe also in homes off the gas grid as soon as 2026. So for the 26 million homes currently heated by oil or gas, what's the alternative? Well, there is good news. A significant proportion of electricity is now generated from renewable sources around 40% in the last two years. So electricity is an increasingly low carbon source of energy. And that's important because heat pumps, which are a low carbon technology that the government wants us to switch to, are partly powered by electricity. But their main source of energy is from the air around us. Let's just think about that for a moment. From the air. Yes, that's right. It sounds weird, but it's physics. There is thermal energy or hidden heat in the outdoor air, even on a freezing cold day. We can't feel it, but it's there. And an air source heat pump absorbs that hidden heat energy from the air so that it can be used to heat your central heating system. That's why a heat pump is considered a renewable heating technology, because it uses renewable energy from the air. And a heat pump is really efficient too. For every kilowatt of electrical power a heat pump consumes, it creates three or four kilowatts of renewable energy from the air. When you think about it that way, that means that a heat pump is powered by 75 or 80% renewable energy from the air and just 20 to 25% relatively low carbon electricity. So they're a really eco-friendly solution. So just how low carbon are we talking? Well, by replacing, for example, an oil boiler with a Daikin heat pump, you could reduce your home's carbon footprint by over four tonnes every year. That's a massive impact. An even bigger carbon footprint saving than living car-free, which saves just over two tonnes of CO2 per person annually. Well, it's no wonder that thousands of UK homeowners have already made the switch to Daikin's heat pump technology. But there's another reason why a heat pump has become the technology of choice for those looking to make a sustainable change to their home heating systems. And that's because you'll notice the difference where you feel it most, in your pocket. For homes off the gas grid or for homes designed with energy efficiency in mind, a heat pump could save you hundreds a year on running costs compared with a fossil fuel system. And when you factor in government funding for low carbon heating systems, the savings could amount to thousands over the system lifetime. Daikin heat pumps are an economical and eco-friendly alternative to fossil fuel heating. So there's no need to compromise on comfort, quality or on your commitment to the environment. You can simply make one change that's benefits will last for generations to come. Do you have the energy for change? To discover more about the Daikin Althoma range of reliable, eco-friendly heat pumps, visit energyforchange.com. <laughs>